Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel for another custom bullet journal flip through. As you likely already know, I make custom bullet journals and I sell them on Etsy. So if you're interested to learn more about those, feel free to check out the description for the link to my Etsy shop. So the journal that we're flipping through today is a 12 month full doodle journal. And I had complete freedom over all of the themes, which was honestly super fun because the only thing that the customer really told me was that she really loves the ocean. Um, so I decided to make as many of the themes as possible ocean based. So I think I've got like eight out of the 12 themes are taken straight from like ocean inspiration. So I hope that you enjoyed them. I know I had so much fun coming up with the themes and making them. So I also realized during this process that like ocean themes are the best. They're so fun to do. And so I have so many favorites in this journal, but I think my top few are probably May, September, January and April. April is less oceany, but I still really, really like it. So we'll get into that flip through right away. But first I would like to thank Nord Green for sponsoring today's video. So you may or may not have noticed me casually showing off this beautiful new watch that I got from Nord Green. They have been a wonderful company to work with and I'm sure that you'll be seeing this watch in many future videos. So we'll definitely talk more about Nord Green during the video. But before we jump into the flip through, I do want to let you know that if you guys are still looking for like Valentine's Day gift ideas for someone you love or even yourself, Nord Green would be an amazing place to shop. Their gift bundles are currently on sale. They are 20% off. And with my discount code, you can get an additional 15%. So my discount code is right up here. It's autumn R and you can also find that along with links to their website in the description. So why don't we jump in and flip through this custom journal? And as we do, don't forget to let me know in the comments, which of the monthly themes you like the best. So here's the journal we're going to flip through today. As you can see, it is one of the artist loft journals that I've been using a lot lately. It's got 180 pages. They're 120 GSM, elastic for a closure and a pen loop, two bookmarks. And this is just a great budget friendly journal that you can find at Michael's. So I start all of my journals with a name page just like this. I find the white gel pen is just such a special touch. And so this journal is going out to Nikita. So thank you so much, Nikita, for letting me join your bullet journal journey. So Nikita mentioned that she really likes bright colors. So I decided to use a lot of bright sort of like pastel colors for the yearly spreads. So she's got her year at a glance, a little title page, and this is a 12 month journal, but it goes from May of 2021 until April of 2022. So that's what I did for the year at the glance and for the future log so that it would apply to her entire journal. Then we've got a health tracker, and this is the same type that I did in my own 2021 bullet journal setup. So if you want to hear more about how I actually use it, I'll link my video um, somewhere in the cards. And over to this side, we have a budget. So for each month, there's a spot to write the money that she spent on bills, other expenses, how much she made for her income and savings. And then at the bottom here, she can just write down like monthly bills so that she doesn't need to remember them every single month. So power, car, whatever it may be. And then down here are her spending goals. So she can put different categories, for example, clothing, maybe her goal is to spend only $50 a month or something. I don't know, groceries, however many dollars she wants to spend, she can put in here just as kind of goals that will help her stay on track with maintaining a balanced budget. Then we've got her sort of looking backward, looking forward sort of things. So reflecting on the previous months with little prompts like I learned, I accomplished, I enjoyed, and I did. And then looking forward by setting some goals for your personal life, professional life, other, and then a spot for action steps as well so that she can be intentional about achieving those goals. Then I left a blank page in case she thinks of any more yearly spreads that she wants to add herself. And then we get into May and May it's the first month, but it is my favorite month. And it's this little squid, like so random. I've never thought of doing a squid before because I don't think they're actually very cute in real life, but I am so, so happy with how the squid turned out and how the little title and the calendar turned out. It just came together much better than I could have imagined. So here's her first theme, this little squid, and she's got a calendar and a place to track her water consumption. So every day of the month is listed right along the side there. And she wanted to measure her water consumption in bottles so she can drink anywhere from one to four bottles and just sort of fill in um, each day how much she drank. And then here are the weekly layouts. So she decided to switch between two weekly layouts throughout the journal. And this is the first one here where all the days of the week are kind of on the inside of the page. And then she's got the sidebars for things like personal tasks, work tasks, events, and notes. 
and this is a full doodle journal as you can see, so every single page, even the weeklies, have little doodles that go with the theme. So the next month here is June, and June is one that I was really excited for and then I kind of felt like I messed it up, but I think I recovered it by adding some of these little white like fish and jellyfish and things like that. So my idea was just to combine a few things like a light bulb with some origami with an ocean. So I was just trying to pull a few different things together and I think it ended up turning out all right. So as usual, she's got a title and a quote and then a monthly calendar with a small doodle over here. And then her weekly layouts for June. So again, same sort of thing where the days of the week are in the middle and then the sidebars have those same four categories. Now, July is one of the brightest themes in this journal, but right away when she said she liked ocean things, I thought that a theme like this would be kind of fitting because it sort of looks like waves. So I tried to use some bright sort of ocean-ish colors. Then I added a little quote and of course the calendar. And for this month, we've got her other weekly layout. So like I said, she wanted to switch between two different layouts. And this is the second option where she's got each page kind of split into four boxes with the days of the week and then a spot for notes, personal tasks and work tasks. So for August, we've got this really cute sort of ocean print or ocean portrait, I called it. And I really love it because I just got these new markers and yellow is my favorite color. And I finally got a pack of markers that actually has a variety of yellows that I like. Usually I'm like lucky if I find one yellow that I like, but this one actually had multiple yellows that I really, really like. So I was very happy about that. Decided to use those for this little ocean portrait. And then we've got her calendar. And then again, this weekly. And I really love how these ones turn out with sort of the mini portrait in the corner. I especially like the ones that have the little sunshine up at the top. I sort of split the month. Half of the weeks have the waves part of the portrait at the bottom, and then the other half of the weeks have the sunshine half of the portrait at the top. Now the next month here is September, and at first I was going to do September in a color, but then I thought that black and white would just look so sharp with this stingray doodle, so that's what I went with and I really do like it. I do wish though that I had made the font for September a little bit bolder so that it stood out more from the rest of the white gel pen. But either way, September is a little stingray, then I've got just a really simple quote over here, trust the process with some little stingrays kind of circling around it. Then we've got the monthly calendar and I just decided to use a gray marker for the accent color here. And finally, we've got the weekly. So we're back to the weekly style where the days of the week are on the middle or the insides of the pages. And then we've got all of her sort of extra boxes in the sidebars. The next month is October. So I've done variations of like a night sky with clouds and things like that. This time I decided to combine it with like some purple waves and I'm not totally sure if I sold it, but I do always like that sort of black night sky with some stars in it. So we've got all the monthly pages. And then again, for the weekly pages, we went with this weekly layout where the days of the week are in the middle. And I do like how the little titles turned out for this one with a moon kind of surrounding the title of the week. So before we flip through the second half of this journal, I want to take a moment to talk about today's sponsor, which is Nordgreen. So Nordgreen is a Danish watch company focused on marketing responsible Danish design and lifestyle to the world. They are exactly the kind of brand that I like to support because their pieces fit my style and I'm totally on board with their mission. I actually chose the Infinity watch in gold because I loved how elegant and timeless it looked. Personally, I'm not really the kind of person who likes to collect a large variety of accessories to like mix and match and stuff. I would much rather have just a few classic pieces that pair well with just about any outfit. So that's why I chose this timeless gold watch. My actual favorite part though of receiving the watch from Nordgreen was being able to take part in their giving back program. So Nordgreen has partnered with three ethical organizations that focus on meeting a variety of needs, including education, access to clean water and rainforest preservation. So with your watch, you receive a unique code that lets you choose one of these initiatives to support. So not only would a beautiful Nordgreen watch make a great Valentine's Day gift, it's also a way to let your loved one give back to those in need. In 2020, Nordgreen donated 
6,500 months of education, 23,200 months of clean water, and protected 742,000 square meters of rainforest. So along with all of these initiatives, Nordgreen ensures that all steps from production to delivery are completely sustainable. So as I mentioned earlier, their gift bundles are currently 20% off plus an additional 15% off when you use my code AUTUMNR. And of course you can find the links and the code in the description. November is another one that I had a lot of fun coming up with. I knew that I wanted to do some kind of little just like fish swimming theme and this seemed like a good way to do it. So lately I've been playing around with kind of stacking my calligraphy letters if that makes sense. So this time I decided to switch up the colors, use some blue, some yellow, some red, get some nice bright colors in here and I'm really happy with how it turned out. We've got the calendar here with all of our key colors and then we're back to this weekly layout where we've got our notes and our other boxes kind of in the far corners. So December is the only month where I used a marker that wasn't from Shuttle Art. So recently I got these markers from Shuttle Art and I've been loving them, but this light peach here is actually one of my Ecoline markers. So I just get those in singles because they are more expensive, but I did get a light peach and a gray in my Ecoline markers. And so that's what I used here. The rest of the markers in this whole journal though are from Shuttle Art. So lots of color variety in that set. So I always love these sort of print themes where I do just simple flowers and doodles in the background and then kind of cover them up with craft paper where I want a title or a quote. Then I've got my December calendar. And again, this weekly layout with the four corners. Now after December, I did leave just a single page with a title for 2022 that matches the title that I used for 2021. And then we're getting into the 2022 spreads. So starting with January, I did a similar sort of stacked font style as I did in December, or sorry, November. I did that here and also for the little quote, just choose gratitude. And I love, love, love these little seashells. So the markers that I mentioned earlier, they have a brush tip on one end and then a really fine tip on the other end. So that's what I use to make these shells, just the matching fine tips that go along with these brush tips. So I really like how just the sort of gentle outlines of the shells turned out. Then we've got our calendar. And then we're back to this weekly where the days of the week are here. And we've got this cute little shell doodle in the corner for the title. Now here's February and February is kind of a simplified version, I guess, of my own February 2021 setup. So I use these same little dinosaurs with the white gel pen doodles on them as I used in my 2021 February setup. And I just will forever love these dino doodles. They're so cute, really easy. And again, the fine tip of those shuttle art pens made it really easy to do this sort of scribbly printed font that I've been seeing a lot lately and I really like it. We've got our calendar with another little dino and then the weekly spreads. And I really like how these weekly spreads turned out with the little dinosaur and kind of a different style for the day of the week. Now, if you've been around the channel for a while, this will not at all be a new theme to you, but it is a new color. I have never ever done my jellyfish theme with such like a deep color before, like this deep sort of wine color. And I was hesitant. I usually like to do it with lighter sort of pastel colors, but I love, love, love how the white gel pen just like pops off of this deep wine color. So I'm definitely glad that I tried it. It's one of my favorite jellyfish variations that I've ever done. I like the weeklies for this one too. Just this box over here is so cute. And the final month in this journal is another one of my favorites and it's April. And I just really, really love how this little design turned out. It was so simple to do, just a bunch of like wavy lines colored in. I did add some white gel pen afterwards, but I think even without that, this design would be really cute. And I chose this sort of desert themed color palette that I really, really loved. Then we've got our calendar for April. And these weeklies might be some of my favorite weeklies in the whole journal. They're still really simple, but I just like that sort of wave of color coming across the title. Thank you so much for joining me for another custom bullet journal flip through. And again, thank you to Nordgreen for kindly sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check out Nordgreen's website, which is linked in the description and use my discount code if you decide to purchase that special Valentine's Day gift. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.